Just a little bit of Fast Time Half Money report to go, but it's going to be jam packed and then power lunch as your trade to go uh, as we get ready to go right now. So we're bringing John to Jaron right now. Uh, what are you watching here, John, uh, as we go into the close? Cubist Pharmaceutical, because there's been a lot of rumors on this one. I'm not just paying attention to that, though, Matt. Normal stock activities, half a million shares. It trades 750,000 before noon today. Also, look at the option volume, 10 times normal volume so far today. Takeover rumors, sure, because there's been so much action. Look at the Sepracor yesterday. I mean, in this space, there's a lot of activity. Uh, Cubicin is their uh, anti-inflammatory, or uh, rather their antibacterial treatment. I think that's the reason people are focused on the stock right now. I, I show the market cap is, uh, what is it? It's under a billion dollars, right? Yeah, so I mean, like this is like a snack for most of the big pharma players. Uh, and again, I don't, I've called the company, don't have any response, but I do have unusual activity in it. You also have some unusual lighting, but we're not going to hold that against you as well today. <laughs> so let's call Thank the close here right now. We're going to go around the horn, buy or sell. We'll start, uh, uh, Jim, with you. Buy or sell on the close here today. I, I buy the equity markets on the close just a little bit. I think there's position squaring up for tomorrow's unemployment number. I, I think I'm a little bit of a bull into the close. All right. Greg? I'm selling. I think we'll have a lower market tomorrow. And Eugene? I like the retail numbers I'm buying today. All right. Break the tie or, or make the tie, I guess you could say. John? Well, I'm, I'm a buyer into the close uh -oh. because I think we get a little ah. surprise because of the government tomorrow, Matt. 4015, as they say at the U.S. Open. Guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And that does it for us on tonight's Fast Money. The traders are going to talk to the CEO of a mid-cap name that's broken above its 52-week high. Is it time to buy?